Hey guys, um, I'm back. <laughs> I know it's been like, you know, three or four months now, but, um, I am back. And today I'm going to show you how to make this right here, this, um, watermark. It's a, uh, it's kind of like a stamp that you put on your video, you know, and, um, it lets you know that it's your work and you can do it however. This is a really, you know, kind of basic one, but. Um, let's go ahead and get started. So you just want to go to File, New, and then the big thing here is make sure that the background is transparent, okay? Click OK. You can make it whatever size, does not matter. That's um, HD settings. Click OK. And then you want to go to, let's see, you want to go to this and go to, I, I like the rectangle, but you guys can do whatever color you want. It doesn't matter at all. Um, you can do a circle, you can do whatever. And then you want to go to, I like to click these two, and you can see around the edges, it gives it some type of a 3D looking shape. That's pretty cool. Um, you can go ahead and make it whatever color. You see, you, you can see these, uh, like diamond cut edges in it, which is, which is, uh, pretty neat. Um, then, see what I did, I just went to Google Images up here, and I just got this Grinch. Um, Grinch picture. <laughs> I thought it would be pretty funny, so um, I'm just gonna drag this in and show you. Um, I thought it would be kind of funny to do this, and my favorite colors, uh, green and stuff, so green and blue kind of type of colors. So um, I just drag this in. You know, s you go to edit and scale to however big or whatever you want it. Um, right about there and then uh, you can go back here to the properties and you could go to uh, gradient overlay and then you can blend this in nicely to make this like a white at the bottom okay and then you can blend this to uh, to match this Grinch looking fella and then a really cool trick that not too many people know about um, I got from an old old friend of mine if you go to this picture and you go to blending options you can go to um, the you see how it says normal if you go to hard light right here it blends it in with the background it kinda I can't really describe it but it uh, it like it makes it you know less noticeable it doesn't stand out as much and it's um it just does a cool effect on it and it makes blending a lot easier than uh than if it was just normal so just go play around with it a little bit um if you want you could even remove you could go and um go to this picture and remove it like that that would be fine too you know, make it blend it in a little bit. You know, like that. Um, that's pretty cool. And then to add text, you just take the text tool. And I'm just going to write Team Kenny 7. Enlarge it. Put a cool text on it. And, uh,. There you go, it's a short little square, and then when you import it on the video, you can see here how in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the little watermark, and it's kind of cool to look at when you're, uh, when you're watching your videos, you know it's your work, and you know, no one can, um, no one can steal it with a YouTube downloader and things of that nature, so it's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, you could change it around. This is, you know, a stupid, silly, really easy idea, but you can get serious with it and make some pretty cool ones. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, guys. Um, yeah, I need your guys' help with, um, <clears throat> any tutorials that you guys can come up with, any ideas for videos, because I want to start doing a lot more. Uh, I haven't been very active. And, um, <clears throat> another thing. If you guys, <clears throat> if you guys look at the screen now, you'll see a picture. And that's what comes up every time I click OK on Pinnacle Studio 12. I click OK on Dazzle DVD DVC 170 to capture. I click OK and my computer 
shuts down and then gives me this um, picture right here. It shuts down, give me, gives me this picture, and then restarts. And I do not know what to do. I've uninstalled and reinstalled probably 10 times. And I really just am lost for words. I don't know what to do. So if you guys have any help on that or any tutorials ideas, please comment below. Uh, any help will be greatly appreciated. And uh, thanks a lot, guys.